welcome dear student today we will going to see the chapter number 6 composition of matter of standard 8 and this is a part 4 of this chapter and let's start the chapter student in this part we first we will going to learn about the solution so let's see students what are the solutions so a uh, solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances is called a solution a homogeneous mixture is a mixture with just one phase or uniform composition okay so a mixture a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances that means which gives just one phase or a uniform composition is called those type of mixture are called as a solution now all the solutions have two parts students the solution have two parts first is a solute and next is a solvent so you can see in a picture like solvent plus solute it will gives us solution now let's see the solute and solvent student the solute is a substance that gets dissolved okay the solute is a substance that gets dissolved in the solution and the solvent does not does the dissolving okay the solvent does the dissolving it means student that component of a solution which is present in the largest proportion is a solvent so solvent pre present in a largest proportion in the solution and solute solute is which will solute is a substance which present in less proportion than the solvent okay this is a solute so both the solute and solvent combine together to form a solution so when the solute and solvents are combined together no chemical reaction takes place okay and aqueous solution are produced when water is the solvent okay now what is mean what does mean it now when the solvent is water solvent means the which is present in the more proportion or the large proportion okay so when the solvent is a water that solution is nothing but a aqueous solution okay now students see alongside you can see a one picture uh, in which we can see us we can we are adding a salt that is a solute in a solvent let's take an example of a solution of a salt and water okay so water is a solvent which present in a more proportion and salt is a solute which present in a less solution so when we mix the water and salt together it gives us a salt water solution okay so this is nothing but a solution student if solvent is a transparent liquid the solution is also transparent and it passes through a filter paper now student water is a transparent solvent okay it it means it appears as a clear solution as you can see in the picture of a sugar solution it appears as a transparent solvent okay so if we mix solute like salt in a water so it will form a transparent solution and it will easily passes through a filter paper now next is a suspension now let's see the let's see what is a suspension okay so suspension is a heterogeneous mixture of a liquid and a solid is called as a suspension now student if you recall a heterogeneous mixture is when there is a uh, two or more phases in a mixture after mixing that means when two or nitrogen mixture is a mixture which forms when two or more phases are present in a solution it is it gives us a heterogeneous mixture so suspension is a type of a heterogeneous mixture of a liquid and of a liquid and a solid is called a suspension whenever we make heterogeneous mixture which contains liquid and solid in any proportion is called as a suspension so what is suspension it is a type of a mixture when we mix heterogeneous mixture which contains liquid and solid okay liquid and solid in any of the proportion is called a suspension
now students here we can take an example of a uh, uh, water and sand so if we will mix the sand in a water what happen we will uh, then it we will see a kind of a solution in which we are we can see uh, two faces two different faces okay now you can see in the suspension mixture okay when sand will add it into water the particles of our sand will go settle down at the bottom part okay so this forms as a suspension that means here two faces two different faces are formed okay so the mixture still has undissolved solid particles settle at the bottom so undissolved solid particle is of what it is of sand particles with some particles still floating okay so it gives two to three phases so this is a type of a heterogeneous mixture of a solid and liquid which forms a suspension Now, student, the diameter of a solid particles in a suspension is larger than 10 raised to minus 4 meter. That means you can easily able to see the particles of a solute. So, because the particles are larger and the light cannot be transmitted through it. So, as the particles are larger than 10 raised to minus 4 meter, therefore the light cannot transmit through it. Okay, these solid particles remain on an ordinary filter paper as residues and therefore the liquid and solid components of a suspension get separated by filtration. Now student, I have already explained you about a residue. So what is a residue? It is a remaining of the substance. Okay, remaining of the substance or powder. It, it will uh, in, it will present in the form of a powder. That means residue is simple a uh, remaining of a substance. And what is meaning of filtration, student? If you have a mixture of a sand dust in water and you will pour that mixture over the filter paper, as you can see alongside picture, over filter paper, you will observe that all the sawdust particles will remain over the filter paper. You can see the particles, brown color particles, which are there on the filter paper. Whereas the water gets easily passes through the filter paper. So this is called as a filtration. I hope you have understood about the filtration. Okay, students, next we have is a colloid. Let's see the colloids. So colloids also known as a colloidal solution are a mixture in which microscopically dispersed insoluble particles of one substance are suspended in another substances now student in simple language we can see that when a substance is not completely soluble okay when a substance is not completely soluble but it is partially soluble then it is called a color that means a substance which is partially soluble not completely soluble okay in a solution it is called as a colloidal solution the diameter of these particles is around 10 raised to minus 5 meter. 10 raised to minus 5 meter. Okay. And these are the smaller than the of suspension. So, colloid the particles of a colloid are smaller than the suspension particles. However, the pores of a filter paper are larger than colloid. Hence, the mixture cannot be separated. Now, students, when a solution of milk and water through a filter paper all the particles will pass through it because the filter paper have pores which are larger than the size of 10 raised to minus 5 meter which is the size of part which is the particle size of a colloid now student here you can see um milk which is mixing with the water as apart from these the colloids are of different type first is a solid and gas example is smoke next is a liquid and gas for example fog and cloud now student here you can see a picture in which you can see a three glasses three different glasses are kept on a kept of a solution okay three in three different glasses the solutions are kept we have light sources when light is passed we can see 
now see students in three classes first class is of solution second class is of colloid and third class is of suspension so here we have a light source so when light is passed we can see a observation given there okay so it is a beam of a light is not you we can see a beam of a light cannot be visible not visible in solution and the solution here taken is water but a uh, we can see a beam of a light can pass through that means the light beam is visible from a colloid here a uh, exa here example is taken as a milk water and milk and in third glass that is it is a suspension type of a solution suspension solution in which the light beam is clearly visible and it is an example of a floor and water so student that's it about for that's all for this video next part we will going to do in our next lecture thank you